Hi, good day everyone. So, this is a short tutorial regarding um, how to use morph transition uh, in PowerPoint. So, we were actually excited no, uh, in having this morph transition in PowerPoint, uh, especially in Office 365 or those who are using uh, uh, Office 2019. So, this morph transition is one of the few uh, new, I mean, one of the many new things in PowerPoint right now, especially if you're using um, Office 365 as your productivity tool. So let me start by showing you an example of this. So just like a picture of, of just like this image. So if we wanted to have, uh, if we wanted to start with the, with the morph transition, what you're going to do is you need to duplicate this slide. Just right click, duplicate slide, duplicate slide. So in this example, I mean, it should not be, uh, the first slide should be duplicated many times. Duplicate, uh, duplicate slide, duplicate slide. So there are other ways on how you're going to do it, but uh, in my case, I just like to do this one. Maybe this will be very helpful if you wanted to discuss, uh, just like in this case, you wanted to discuss how, uh, let us say, how the vaccines are developed for a specific virus. So, okay, let me start. Now, what I wanted to do I'd like to animate by using the morph transition. Uh, so I'll I I need to I need to edit this. So in the picture format, I'm going to crop it so that it will focus first on this uh, virus spike protein, and I'll change the aspect ratio to 16 point 16 is to nine. Because that's the aspect ratio uh, for PowerPoint presentations. Okay, and then I'll just click crop. And from the extreme upper corner, I'll just enlarge this up to this side here. Okay, and in the next part, uh, from that specific virus and spike protein of that virus, uh, I'd like to crop it again in the picture format and I'd like to focus on the area regarding how spike proteins are used the spike proteins of the virus are used to uh, to get mRNA codes spike protein of the, of the virus uh, in a lipid nanoparticle so that's how you you separate uh, or get a sample of the spike protein or the mRNA codes of the virus in that case and then just like again the top uh, right left corner I need to expand it oh, for a while it's not the right aspect ratio because you need to change first the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 16 to 9 or if I wanted to include this I need to let us check aspect ratio 16 to 9 yep okay then I'll crop it Okay, now from that mRNA code spike protein of the virus, how the virus or how how that mRNA codes or actually that's the in lipid nanoparticle that's the vaccine already. Then how does it enter? It enters the human cell. So once it's injected in new, and the aspect ratio, actually, part it's this process is 
there's a part of that virus that spike protein of the virus was injected to you and don't worry it's not the virus itself but it was just only part of the virus was injected to you it's the mRNA and then next how does it when it was injected to you it triggers uh, it translates the viral spike protein in your body and actually it triggers immune response so it develops it develops your antibodies and lymphocytes so it triggers the production of those immune responses the natural immune responses of your body so that once you are uh, exposed to another to the real virus they will now know uh, with the help of the T cells and other immune response, they will now know and will be able to to fight the spike proteins of that virus. And then, without the spike proteins, the the vir the the virus, as you know it, will be not that effective. Uh, in creating infections in your body but I'm just leave it to the expert now so I'm just showing you how to morph it and maybe how you'll be able to this use it in the discussions then in the transitions from none just select or I'd like to see I'd like you to see first what what does it look like if you have this none option here in a slideshow, it looks like this. So then, and then you're going to do that, and that, and these things, and these things, and that thing. But, uh, how does it differ if you have these morph transitions uh, in your presentation? Okay, now let us see. Like this. So from that huge, I mean, infographics, or huge picture, when you click the next slide it will do that and when you click the side the next slide again it will go to the next picture and the next slide like this and the next slide like this and back to the original picture because in morph transitions uh, the AI in PowerPoint Office 365 or in Office 2019 will be able to detect that it's just part of the bigger picture or those are just parts of the bigger picture and will give you a smooth uh, morph effect in your transitions. Okay, so we have another uh, sample here. Like for example, in the solar system, we also did uh, apply morph transitions here. So if we click slideshow, it's like this, and we again we have applied morph transitions if you're discussing about the solar system. So that's the whole solar system in in, in one screen, and then if you want to focus on this part, and then later after focus on the another part, and this part again, this part that and go back to the big picture okay now these are just example of how could you possibly uh, make use of morph transition uh, in the effect options here is objects because there are other cases when you wanted to morph using the different words and characters and that will be in another video or you may uh, explore it on your own so I'm just giving you some sneak peek of of the possibilities of how beautiful it is to use these morph transitions in your 
PowerPoint presentations. So again, thank you so much and good day everyone.